uh, welcome to the first ever recording of L.A. Noir after I've upgraded my PC. I've put 24 extra gigs of RAM in it. I've got a second monitor. Uh, I've got an extra terabyte of SSD space. This is still on the same disc it was on before. So, the biggest changes you'll see are from the RAM, and uh, that's about it. So let me start off first by alt tabbing, making sure that the game sounds. I haven't figured, I haven't gotten used to the monitors yet. If you guys want to give me advice, that'd be nice. Because it would be nice to know different tricks. Uh, but I, it's nice to be able to look at my OBS while I'm recording. Uh, it's very nice, in fact. Uh, all that's left now is to get a different microphone, really. And then I'm a full-time streamer. I've got a web camera. I haven't set it up. I'm not setting it up. I'm not web camera. Egg. Just yet. Now, give me just a second. I did have to close, so I did not get the... I did not get the, um, the newspaper. Oh, it's right here. Bugsy Siegel. Let's see what the full story behind this is. Think anywhere else to meet, kid? We like to choose our ground. What is that supposed to mean? Huh? It's something Wellington said at Waterloo. The guys who win normally choose where to fight. Are we gonna fight, kid? The two of you versus my boys here? I love the fight game. I went a few rounds myself. You and your friend, uh, it looks tough, but uh, I don't like your chances. Nah. We don't have to fight, Mr. Cohen. We have you an infilate. Oh, what the fuck can't. is that? You can't Some fucking kind of keep using military terms. It means my men are in cover, but that they can still shoot you. If those were my orders, you would all be dead now. Are you kidding me? This is a $200 coat. You got some balls. Kelso. I hope you didn't scratch the paint of my Kelso? new Lincoln. Mm -mm. These guys are getting out of the dope business, Mr. Cohen. You'll have no more problems from them. The morphine is going to disappear back into the sea. Hang on. You're getting hasty. There's a lot of dough on offer here. Thanks for the offer, Mr. Cohen, but we are going to have to politely decline. After today, the morphine is no more. This isn't the way we normally do business. I'm aware of that, Mr. Cohen. Call me Mickey. Are you aware of the risk, huh? I'm giving it to you straight, Mr. Cohen. There will be no more morphine. We made a mistake and would like to back out gracefully. If you come after us, we will be forced to come after you. You've been polite up till now. So don't stop making threats. I don't make threats, Mr. Cohen. I'd like to thank you for your time. Is that guy your idea muscle, kid? <laughs> There's something you should know about Jack, Mr. Cohen. He kills six Japs hand to hand with just a bayonet and a K-bar knife. His outfit, the six Marines, killed over 100,000 no, Japs in three months in Okinawa. And he was in the thick of it. Those Japs are little guys, right? Yes, Mr. Cohen. About your size. Yo, he's a funny guy. <laughs> I can't believe it. It's fucking Jack Kelso. Let's go. Ram is removed. Where's he been delivering? And who's been delivering here? 
Any repeat business in the ledger, Cole? Polar Bear Ice Company. Why is Ramez buying so much ice? Merlin Otty. Merlin Otty is buying a lot of furniture. What's with the puddle? Why is there water? Where's that trail of water coming from, Cole? I guess we're gonna find out. So, uh, now's was a perfect time to start talking. There must be a way through the I back. I watched the second half of Evangelion, or however it's pronounced. Uh, and man, were they on something. Welcome to Furniture like, episode, Village. I watched episode 25 die. and 26, the, the original ones. Uh, it was almost all incomprehensible. It was all, like, metacognition. What a pile bullshit. of junk. My mother would be in heaven. And it felt so weird. Because I liked the first, like, th 14 episodes. And then the few, the last... I bet this is the kind of crap 12? you love, Cole. 20 years out of fashion. The last 12 episodes were all very weird. I don't know how to feel... Smells of old people in here. I can't say smells of old people. Anyways, as I'm recording it, it's uh, 1.43... December 26th, so this is all post-Christmas. I hope y'all had, had a good Christmas. I can't see a damn thing. Good, uh, you need to get up onto the floor like above. Today's Kwanzaa. I don't recognize Kwanzaa as a real holiday. Uh, let's talk about the history of Kwanzaa real quick. Kwanzaa was invented in the 1960s by a racist, anti-white Pan-African. Uh, sorry, an African-American who believed in Pan-Africanism. I said Pan-African like it's a race. No. Pan-Africanism is the belief that all of Africa should be united into one super country. Uh, it's, it's a strange belief. It doesn't work out uh, due to cultural differences and a whole lot of other things. But the man was like very staunchly anti-white. And it's a 1960s or 1980s, somewhere around their holiday, made entirely to be an anti- Made basically to be a postmodern holiday. Now what am I supposed to do with Oh. Oh, I can do these here, I think. Interesting, but overall it gives you way too many different things. Anyway, to continue what this is. Kwanzaa is basically just a made-up holiday that has no tradition. It was made 60 years ago. Get down here! There's a cold room in the back! And I, I get that I can get like uh, very much added saying, oh, but Christmas myths is made up too, but but like uh, what other arguments can you give me? Christmas is made up too. Hanukkah's made up too. Yeah, but those were made up fundamentally 700 years ago and became corporatized, corporatized around 60 years ago. So yeah, you want to celebrate original Christmas? Be my guest. That would be based. Celebrate the pagan holidays that were attached to some Christian beliefs and then immediately became something different. Be based. Be based and celebrate those pagan beliefs. Be pagan. Like, nobody's going to stop you. Some pagan religions are based. Others are based in a different way. I think we know where the water's coming from. 
You're gonna wanna see this. Oh, they're delivering the morphine and ice. There's something frozen inside. Holy! This must be how they transport the morphine. LAPD, leave it right there! Everyone out of the vehicle and put your hands up. There's something in the ice. He's making a run for it. Let him have it. If they apprehend him. Does that mean I have to shoot him again? Clear me some space here. Oh, I can shoot him. Does he, is that mission failed? I'm gonna get yelled at for this. Take them all to Hollywood Station. Have the ME and tech services go over this place. Where will you be? Hunting polar bear. Let's go! Hunting polar bear. Hop in real ice. Is Audi serious? Is the LAPD turning a blind eye to narcotics? Keep your shirt on, Phelps. Drugs are prohibited. Doesn't mean people don't want to take them. Limiting supply doesn't mean that we have limited demand. I understand that. I know that the average Joe needs to unwind a little, let his hair down at the end of the week, but morphine? Heroin? It's important to demonize Hop Phelps. Looks good in the papers. But when all is said and done, it's just another chemical like booze. A lot of people in high places think we're doing the city a favor by keeping the dope rolling into Central Avenue. Donnelly certainly believes we need to keep them anesthetized. Better jobs and opportunities would go a lot further. Will you listen to yourself? Yo, we actually get traffic lights in this room. You drive. I need to go over the case notes. Street crime, because I don't want to. American Century. Any in the vicinity of 211 in progress at 3rd and Union, stand by for further units to help identify. Uh. I just want to Car 11K responding. Go ahead with the further. I'll be getting 211 in progress. LAPD! Like hell! He dropped the gun. He dropped the gun. Put your hands in the air! Obnoxious oath. There he is. See him? What a bug. Give it up! LAPD! God damn it. Heavens to Betsy! I'm out of here. Baby. He went that away! Don't make me chase you! Uh, don't make him chase you. I will chase you. There Stop, we go. or I will shoot! But with all the fire Do you think doing a robbery in daylight is a good idea? I don't know. You know the way, you can drive. You know the way, you can drive. You know the way, you can drive. How much do you want to bet that we're gonna get out and like some kind of shoot out?
So, <sighs> holidays. The there. factory is closed. Has been for years. Not much call for ice anymore with all those newfangled refrigerators. Save it for someone who wants to hear it. How many janitors carry a GAT? That's one way of announcing we're here. Give it up, Finkelstein. Your brother-in-law will get you a good lawyer. My brother-in-law hates my guts. Come and get me if you want some daylight through that suit of yours. Oh, I'm going to have to get out. Come on in and get massacred, cocksuckers. <laughs> Eyes open. He's around the inside. <laughs> How long do you think you can hold out? Can someone please just kill these assholes already? You're fucking fucked! I've fucking Give me hunted some goddamn down cover. the Black Dolly. You're surrounded! And your buddies are dead! Oh, fuck! I guess... I guess the Black Dahlia didn't have... <laughs> I spoke too, too soon. Friends or guns in here anytime soon. Understand? Come on, pop your fucking head. There you go. Throw out the guns. Pretty great. Move, I've got you. Stay down. You're covered, Phil. Let's break away from that. Sprint forward. Get behind something, Phil. Oh, fuck, where is he? You know? I'm a bit of a blind idiot. Dead Finkelstein, leave the weapon and put your hands up now. Put my hands up? Sure. Then what? Cop to peddling the dope? Cut a deal? Ship me off to the queue? As soon as I get locked up, some old friend puts a, an ice pick above my ear? No thanks. Only one other way out, shit heel. So it comes down to this. So it comes down to this. Uh, I, I shoot you in the fucking Let's have skull. a look around. Immediate. Now that we finally got some peace and quiet. You got one in the fucking brain immediately. Had How'd that go? One day. How'd that go? Until the scotch I pour myself as soon as we get out of here. Three guesses what's in the box. Open her up, Cole. Let's take a look. It's morphine, morphine, and more morphine. This stuff has got to be worth at least a hundred grand. So Finkelstein robbed the ship? My guess is Lenny took it off their hands. This is big. This is gonna make the papers, Phelps. As senior investigator, I'll do the talking. Well, well. Who would have thought that Roy Earl's hand-picked new partner would have turned out to be such a great case man? This is a good result, Phelps. As far as we can tell, Lenny the Fink was moving the morphine across the city and as far north as Frisco. This makes the feds very happy, and it makes Mickey Cohen look bad. I won't lie to you, kid. I like the headlines. I like them a lot. You keep this squad in the papers, and we'll get along just fine. I know this is really short. Uh, it's kind of how the way I structure things. Uh, it's my fault. But I'm going to stop the recording here and uh, we'll start another one.